Tate Publishing and Enterprises, along with Tate Out Loud Audiobooks presents The Invisible Soul, written by George W. Beasley. Introduction To my God and Savior, whom I am forever grateful, the one who set me free through his redeeming power and healed me of all the bad in my life, and gave me a life full of joy and happiness. I am telling my story so you can see how God can heal you and give you your life back. There is no depth too deep and no place too far from God. If you want healing in your life, God will heal you. No matter what it is, you have to want to be healed, and you have to believe you can be healed by His power and His power alone. You have to believe that. James says in chapter 5, believing prayer will heal you. I did believe, but I never asked God to take all the condemnation, guilt, and fear out of my life. I ran from God as fast as I could, but never knew I was running. It was God who stopped the world from turning and said, It's time, son. You've been running long enough. I hope this book will help you come to know Jesus Christ, for whom he is, your loving Father, who wants to heal you from your brokenness. This is my story as I remember it, and as I saw it through my eyes. Thirty-seven years have passed since my first encounter with those evil eyes of darkness. Locked all alone in a closet for more hours than I could count, wondering if anybody was ever coming to get me. I was so hungry and scared. Suddenly, the door opened and the light blinded my eyes. The voice said, Get up, your mother is here to get you, and you better not say a word or else. I made my way to the car. Mom asked how I had been today. I said, Okay. Mom never knew about this, and it was a small and minor incident when compared with the other tortures I would go through in years to come. This is as far back as I can remember. I have no childhood memories at all from the age of eight and back. I'm not sure why. I think there is something suppressing those memories. I hope it's God not letting me see so far back, giving me what I can handle, as His Word says. I write this with the hope of helping all those people out there that have been abused as a child and who are abusers now. My hope is they will come to a point of total restoration and victory in their lives. If not for the grace of God, I would have turned out an abuser. I write this book to help those abused and forgotten children that grew up and have never dealt with their pain. Why still lingers in your mind and you don't understand why God won't heal you. Some of you have been healed and don't know what to do with your story. The most powerful and unique story ever told may be in you. You choose to usher it back every time it comes to your mind. That is not healing, that is forgetting. You will never forget, but you can have victory over those haunting images and beatings you encounter while growing up. You can have victory over that invisible soul that is deep within you, that only you can see. Everyone who is abused grows up, unless you are like some of my friends that didn't make it. They were either killed or killed themselves. You never have to be hit to be abused. It's sometimes the silence of no one there that is the worst. It's sometimes the father or mother that expects too much from us. The invisible soul has no boundaries or morals. It seeks to destroy you. I hope to seek out those who have been abused and tell my story to them. The story of truth that no matter what you have been through, No matter how bad you were, no matter how many beatings you took, no matter how much hatred and anger still resides in you, that Jesus Christ can and will heal you of all your pain and restore you to a person of purpose and joy. There is a song that says the restored can now rejoice. I am that person. I pray while reading this, when you turn the last page, you will sing, I can rejoice for I am now restored. Are you hurting? Pray. Do you feel great? Sing. Are you sick? Call the church leaders together to pray and anoint you with oil in the name of the Master. Believing prayer will heal you, and Jesus will put you on your feet. And if you've sinned, you'll be forgiven, healed inside and out. James five thirteen through 15 How do I know about this healing and victory, you may ask? I was living with an invisible soul that was tortured for years, and now I'm freed. I was the one with a face, but no expression, the one with fingers, but no fingerprints, and the one with a name, but no identity, an address, but no home. Can anybody hear my cry? Is there anybody else out there fighting these same demons? 
let me assure you, victory is in the making for you. Believe that. This is my life work, helping people understand and respond to this message. It came as a sheer gift to me, a real surprise, God handling all the details. When it came to presenting the message to people who had no background in God's way, I was the least qualified of any of the available Christians. God saw to it that I was equipped, but you can be sure that it had nothing to do with my natural abilities. And so here I am preaching and writing about things that are way over my head, the inexhaustible riches and generosity of Christ. My task is to bring out in the open and make plain what God, who created all this in the first place, has been doing in secret and behind the scenes all along. Through followers of Jesus like yourselves gathered in churches, this extraordinary plan of God is becoming known and talked about even among the angels. All this is proceeding along lines planned all along by God and then executed in Christ Jesus. When we trust in Him, we're free to say whatever needs to be said, bold to go wherever we need to go. So don't let my present trouble on your behalf get you down. Be proud. Ephesians 3, 7-13 through 13. These verses say it all. I could stop writing right now and give His word to you, but that wouldn't be fair, as I am the man He called to help you understand and respond to His message. I am the man whose gift is a real surprise. I am the man that is the least qualified, but God did see to it that I was equipped. He did handle all of the details, even when I wouldn't let him. It's what I've said all along. God loves you and wants you to live in total freedom from condemnation, fear, and guilt. And so here I am, preaching and writing about things that are way over my head, the inexhaustible riches and generosity of Christ, My task is to bring out in the open and make plain what God, who created all this in the first place, has been doing in secret and behind the scenes all along. Through followers of Jesus like yourselves gathered in churches, this extraordinary plan of God is becoming known and talked about, even among the angels. Ephesians 3, 8-10 Yes, this is me. I had no idea what God was up to. I had no ability to speak and write. But God has given me these gifts to preach and write about things way over my head. He has shown me all I have is His grace and my little story to go along with it. I am willing, and that's all. The rest is all God. His word continues to say, when we trust in Him, we're free to say whatever needs to be said, bold to go wherever we need to go. I am saying what needs to be said, and being bold in a boldless society.